Hi, Paganacho here. I am still alive. <laughs> uh, I am really sorry for the long Fallout 2 delay, but here it is. A new, brand new episode of Fallout 2. Well, just enjoy it. Enjoy it, okay? So, let's see. We have been instructed to take all surfaces to Wager. Okay, I guess these two guys over here want me uh, to go with them. So, I guess let's go to their leader. I mean, what ca could I possibly do? Uh, they have weapons. And I have these two idiots. Hey, a visitor. How convenient. I've been contemplating on a way to make contact with the surfaces. But now I don't have to worry about that. Thanks to your timely arrival. Welcome to the home of the Schlicks. Great guys over here. So, uh, what do you want with me? A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it's called Murok. Remember the town? We've been the last episode. Would you do us the favor? Uh, well, I think... Uh, but first let me ask you, why don't you send one of your own people to deliver the message? I mean, guys, come on, you can handle this on your own way. Uh, since the ceiling, we as a people have changed. Few can bear to be on the surface because they are not used to having a black sea of what? A black sea of nothingness above them. The sensation of falling upward is so great for them that they be frozen, clutching the ground. But that is not the main reason. We all, uh, all of us, cannot stand the bright light. Uh, the bright light of that which you call the sun. Living underground for so long has made our eyes too sensitive to light. So, uh, they are vampires? Is this it? Or... What? Uh, tell me more about your people, please. Once, long ago, we were once like you, the surfaces. Uh, we too dwelt uh, above ground. Ba 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 Okay, they're somewhat like vampires, I guess, living uh, in these underground tunnels uh, for more like than uh, a long time. So, I guess I made my decision. We're gonna help them. We're gonna deliver the message to the town. Is this a ghoul? <laughs> <laughs> strolling around here funny guy Ooh. well <laughs> making weird noises so I guess I take a look around here first before we go just, just checking if there's uh, anything valuable around here some loot and that uh, the that vampires the mole guys and <laughs> the ghouls are uh, no threat for the people up there. You know, the good guy stuff. Hmm. So let's head back to the surface and oh look at this, we are here at the at the field. The, the, yeah. Let's let's uh, just head back to the village and deliver the message. Oh, the soundtrack here in this village, it's so great. Hello! Yes, I am back and I have to deliver a message just for you. Yes. Uh, Slacks, who are they? What's this? Uh, Yo opens and reads the message. This is incredible. They've been living underground all this time. They say they've been willing to trade food for medical supplies. But uh, after all, they killed all the people and Carl. Well, we know that these uh, bodies on the farm there they were fake right so so they ain't real corpses uh, and they uh, are not involved in any kind of slaughter so we're gonna say they are fake and yeah also this uh, guy Carl we found him in den maybe you remember the, uh, at the den when we were there there was this 
a guy selling drugs. That was Carl. <laughs> so we fulfilled our quest, got some experience points, but sadly we uh, did not get any information about the gig, except for that we might find some answers uh, when we go east from here. Well, thanks, y'all. You, you've been a great help. Your Johan. I guess your real name is Johan. You're embarrassed to tell us your true nature. Man, this ghost farm quest with the vampires uh, was pretty impressive. Very entertaining. It was the time of my life, man. Well, we got another quest. As you can see, we are uh, getting rid of some rats and mole rats. <laughs> Giant mole rats. Just a little side quest to calm down a little bit. Just chilling and show off the skills from my Paul here, Salik. Let's get our hard earned uh, reward. So, thank you. You are truly a hero amongst heroes. Not many people would risk their lives for a total stranger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You get this warm, fuzzy feeling all the way down to your toes. Am I gay or what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> it seems like our gay friend uh, named Pharrell <laughs> has a little problem. Everybody is accusing him of stealing his best friend's gold pocket watch. I guess he couldn't keep his hands by himself. <laughs> Everybody is thinking uh, that he is the one who stole the watch and now he is asking me to search for it. Well. It's my new duty, my destiny, to search for a watch. Wow. Oh, how honorable. I guess we start by searching his house for the watch and, of course, in his pockets. Mm -hmm. Looks like the watch ain't here. But still, there is one place left we didn't look for yet. Exactly. You guessed right. It's the toilet. <laughs> You won't believe it, but it's possible to go into the toilet. Yes, you can go into the toilet. And that's the next thing we gonna do right now. <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa, look at this pile of shit. The next step is we gonna blow this whole uh, shit up. We gonna blow some shit, literally. Okay, I've planted the bomb and I guess the next step would be we should go the fuck out of this shithole. Whoa! <laughs> no way! <laughs> There's shit everywhere. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and, and the shithouse is gone. Look at this. <laughs> the people. Look at the people. They're excited like I am. Just standing around there. <laughs> That's a great quest. Well, oh god, it looks good down here. And next, you won't believe it, but there's someone living down here under the toilet. Yes, <laughs> it's a mole rat, big as mole rat, and I have to kill it. It's Sad, but I have to do it. Okay, let's search for some valuable. <gasps> Could it possibly be? Is this? Is this the gold watch? Whoa! How does the gold watch come right here at this place? I don't know, maybe someone was doing some kinky shit on the toilet while playing with their uh, gold watch. Hmm. Mysterious, mysterious. How nice. Everything's in harmony up here. Let's give the gold watch back to this guy so he can return it to his friend. Uh, let me see that. Yes, this is it. The gold watch. <laughs> Why is it? What is the smell? Well, I don't know, my friend. Just be happy with the gold watch and goodbye. So, I guess <clears throat> that was it with the quest. The last quest for this episode. I guess that's a very atmospheric uh, area here to end the episode too. So I see you next time.
Bye-bye.